And right now we're learning more about a disturbing crime out of Pembroke Pines. This man accused of beating a dog to death. It's a story you'll only see right here on Local 10. We've now learned that suspect is a teacher in Broward County. His lawyers now asking for his bond to be lowered so he can be there for the first day of school tomorrow. Local 10's Andrew Perez has more from Pembroke Pines. You know, the full police report is just so graphic right now. Police saying this went on for a while and make no mistake, this dog did suffer. We're learning the suspect is not only an ex NFL player, but also a Broward County Public Schools teacher. I've seen some abuse cases, but this is the worst that I've ever seen. Dr. Elizabeth Rosane's got the call from police. They rushed the body of this eight month old American pit bull terrier named Jack to her office. Externally, there was so much blood from the oral cavity and the nasal cavity that you could see that he had been hit in the face somehow. He had a, a puncture wound on the top of the head. And then when we took x-rays, we could see that he had rib fractures and he had a um, collapsed lung. Witnesses finding the pup's body half covered in bags and sheets outside an apartment building at the Avant in Pembroke Pines, say police. Those witnesses telling officers they saw Daniel Lamont Gray Jr. going crazy on the dog outside his unit, punching him, kicking him, swinging him by the legs and body slamming him to the ground. Reporting as the dog was heard crying, Gray yelled, you see how strong I am? This is why I keep you locked up before dragging the pup away and dropping him nearby. This was not an act that uh, was uh, done out of necessity out of self-defense. It was an act done out of anger because allegedly the dog bit him. All Gray was concerned about standing before a judge was getting out to get to work. He's a Broward County teacher. He's trying to get out uh, so that he can be there Monday for the start of school. His name is listed online as a teacher at Pine Ridge Educational Center in Fort Lauderdale. School starts on Tuesday. But as we learn more about how this beat down unfolded, the school system telling us He'll be relocated for now. I think the, the level of violence uh, that is described, the anger and viciousness that's shown against this animal is a positive concern. Now it's still not clear how this dog got that perfect puncture wound to his head. State officials are now examining the body as this investigation continues. Meanwhile, Broward School is saying this employee is going to be relocated to an off-school site for now. That's latest here in Pembroke Pines. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.